Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is a card reading for the um, upcoming month of April and this is for my Sagittarius. And so so if you have your sun, moon, and or rising sign in Sagittarius, then this is the card reading for you for the upcoming month of April 2019. And before I get into intuitively what I'm seeing in your card spread, I just wanted to go on ahead and say that if you enjoy my videos and if you want to see more of them, it will really help me out if you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um, and hit that like button. <laughs> but even if you don't, just thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in and just hearing what it is that I have to say. Um, honestly, that's that's a lot right there. So let's just go on ahead and get into the reading. So the first card that we have here is the Empress in Reverse. The next one is the Hierophant. The third is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the last one being the Seven of Cups. Um, so there was something slightly uh interesting for me because it was it was it was hard for me to place which energy was yours, uh, my Sagittarius, Sun Moon, and or rising. Um but I finally got a very clear message that came through. And um, the one thing that I kind of kept getting was don't depend on others. Don't be codependent. Don't depend on others. Be independent, especially for April coming up here. Super important to be independent. And I, I really didn't understand that at first because Sagittarius, like you guys are literally one of the most independent signs in the Zodiac. Like you guys are the ones that just crave and yearn and literally need your freedom like no matter what phase of life you're in you could be a parent and have a whole family but you still need your own freedom and you still need your own individuality right so I was a little bit like kind of like taken aback by that like you don't have to tell Sagittarius to be independent like you know what like but the thing that I was uh so when I kept kind of like looking into the cards um I, I got a little deeper understanding of what exactly that meant. And so what it is that I'm seeing here is that with this Empress here in reverse, this is somebody that I got a couple of different energies. And, that, and this was someone that was either very codependent or somebody that was using a lot of their own resources. So someone that um really didn't have a lot of control over exerting themselves or using their resources spending money just kind of just going and doing whenever you want to and just kind of needing to rein that all in you know because it's I, I was kind of getting I, I was getting the energy that you know this was just a very kind of do what I want impulsive sort of energy and that's why I was like, this is kind of so weird. Like, I, I am getting that they're an individual and that they just kind of do what they want. Plus, it's just Sagittarius. Um, but it's a little bit too much to the extreme. And then with the Hierophant here, um, you know, he's somebody that kind of calls for order. He's someone that kind of calls for uh uh, order within the community and knowing your place within the community. And so... When I kind of put that together with the entire spread here, what I saw um, with the Six of Pentacles in reverse in relation to the Seven of Cups here, I see that you are very used to having a lot of different options. And that's just Sagittarius because you guys are like just the natural explorers of the Zodiac. You guys just love to go and see the things that no one's seen and do the things that no one's done. You guys are just like literally the adrenaline junkies of the Zodiac, in, in my opinion, and Aries and your cousin Aries over there. But... Um, I was definitely just kind of saying like, okay, you're, you're, you're used to having a lot of options. That's the seven of cups energy vibe that I'm getting here. And then the thing is though, the six of pentacles in reverse is letting me know that, um, you know, that's an energy there where it's like, I take more than I give. And I don't necessarily feel that within the spread, but I I feel it and then I don't like I don't believe that that's just your personality that you just like take without giving I think this is just something where it's just like you're just so go 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 all the time like literally 150 miles an hour all the time that I don't think you really realize <laughs> what it is that you're kind of um 
interacting with and doing along the way because your focus is always like i have to go i gotta move you know that's why sagittarius is is the bow and arrow the symbol um behind sagittarius is the bow and arrow you know you shoot an arrow it goes really far that shows potential that shows um opportunity that shows like that is it's supposed to be representative of like the world is like your playground but what I was seeing is that for the month of April, my Sagittarius sun, moon, and our rising, the intuitive message that I got very strongly once I kind of put this all together is that it's now time for you to give back. It's time for you to go, hey, let me slow down a bit and look around and see what's going on around me, you know? Um, let me just let me just pause for a second and just see what it is that's going on around me. See what it is that I need to... Um, Maybe what, what it is that I could do or or see what it is that I could give back or see what it is that I could contribute to. Um, because the Hierophant, he's somebody that, um, while he does call for order within the community, he's somebody that sets up the community. His job in the community is to um, give information, divine wisdom, help people along the way, guide people along the way, bring more people into the community, you know, create a place of belonging for people. And... I really do feel that for April, my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and our rising, that it's really time for you guys to find a way to give back in your own way. Um, yeah, so I feel like, you know, the experiences that you've had in your life, the things that you've experienced, the places that you've gone, the things that you've seen, the people that you've met, I feel like it's all been for a reason. And it is for, um, it's, I feel like it's really for you to kind of share those experiences and to kind of, because that, those experiences and these adventures and, you know, the things that you've experienced within your life have all kind of been for you to be able to um, kind of help other people in their own way. And you might be thinking like, I haven't really experienced anything, but yeah, you have, like, you definitely have. There's what I'm seeing here with this Empress in reverse is what I'm kind of getting intuitively is there's people out there that need someone that is nurturing. There's people out there that need someone that is understanding. And I get that, like, I'm just feeling with this Empress in reverse that you're somebody that's very compassionate, very understanding. And you're somebody that also has a lot of knowledge. Like, you've gained a lot of knowledge throughout your life. You've gained a lot of knowledge throughout, um, your life experiences honestly and it's just like by you living your life every day and the experiences that you have gone through is and plus um the fact that i just feel like you have this nurturing compassionate side to you that you know how to bring about you almost in a way where you're kind of therapeutic for other people i don't know why i'm seeing that but with the empress and the hierophant here in relation to each other i'm seeing somebody that is like almost like a therapist like somebody that is just like really able to help other people in times of need it's almost like you're going to kind of set out on like a new sort of venture in life where it's like now you're going to be the one kind of helping people or now you're going to be the one kind of spreading knowledge. And I, I kind of get the feeling that you like feel like I don't really feel like I have a lot of knowledge to give or like a lot of things to help people get through their own periods in life and times in life and things like that. But you do. And the thing is, is that it's 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 all it's your it's the things that you've gone through in life that have been a mentor to you. It's the things that you've gone through throughout um, your childhood, your adulthood, your career life. All these experiences that you've had, to you is just life, it's just memories, it's just, oh yeah, this happened, that happened, whatever, I experienced this, I experienced that. It's just life to you, it's just day-to-day -day life to you. But what it, it's, there's actually a much bigger, more, um, much bigger a purpose behind that. And that is that, um, you know, you definitely are able to turn these life experiences into something where you can kind of put a pretty bow on it and and um, present it back to people and in a way just kind of that's kind of your own way of being there for people by saying oh man I did this D been there did that you know <laughs> did that did this and that's going to be your way to give back to people that's going to be your way to help people I'm saying so it might not seem very like it might not seem very like auspicious or anything like that but it, it really is like I said to you is just living life but this is something that it's more than just life experiences this is like something that where it's just like 
it's wisdom you know it's it's when you've gone through certain things in life those lessons become wisdom and that wisdom really needs to be passed down and passed over to others is what i'm really saying and i'm saying that you're going to have for me the seven of cups is representative of you're going to have a lot of different people from a lot of different walks of life come into your life and it may seem kind of random or it may just seem like it's not really important i like what i'm getting is like you're not going to realize that you're helping people, but you are. That's like exactly what I'm getting and what I'm trying to get out and just can't get out for some reason. But let's take a look at your Oracle cards here for a second. So we have Sagittarius I see. That's so funny. We have the Sagittarius card for the sign of Sagittarius. So that's not very shocking to see that. So I'm not very shocked to see uh, the Sagittarius here, I see. But um, to see to get this card where it says, I see, I really do believe that that means like, I've seen things, I've been places, I've done all these things, like I've kind of lived that. And like I said, I feel, feel like that's turned into two kind of like a wealth of knowledge for you. And so I feel like in April, you're really going to come across a lot of different people. And like I said, um, to you, it might just seem like something normal or it might even seem like a little random. Like, that's kind of weird. I keep getting all these random people, you know, <laughs> coming through and, you know, just talking to random people and it could just be in a grocery store. It could just be like out at the movies or something. I'm not sure, but I do see a lot of different people from a lot of different walks of life kind of coming into your vicinity and you kind of passing along knowledge that you think is just oh yeah, I did that before and I did that, you know, but it's it's so much more for everyone else that you're coming into contact with, you know, like this is, this is doing a lot more for people probably than it's doing for you. But okay, let's look at the next one here. We have hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. That's beautiful. So yeah, I think that this is kind of like a, I think honestly, I think you probably have some spirit guides or some guardian angels or, um, you know, some ancestors. Well, we all have them, but, uh, you do have them for sure. But, um, I think that you probably definitely have some helpers in the spiritual realm that are kind of guiding you to help these people or guiding these people into your life to help them. So that's really interesting. The next one that we have here is Aracura blossoming. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. Yeah, for sure. I definitely think that whatever it is that you think you're doing right now, you think it's so small and you think it's kind of like irrelevant or it's not really doing anything. I'm not really making a difference, but you really are. Like, I, I really just keep getting that sense of like, no, you, you are, you're really, you're really changing things. And then another thing that I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a lot of purple and I haven't really seen that with any other sign that I've done so far. Um, I haven't really seen kind of like the colors kind of match up like this. So for me, this is kind of like, yeah, your crown chakra is open. And so you're going to be receiving a lot. You're you're going to be receiving a lot of um probably messages and just things to say. I think you're even going to be receiving like messages so that when these people do, so that when these people do come into your life, you're probably going to find the right words and be like, damn, where'd that come from? I didn't even know. Like, <laughs> I didn't even know I had that type of advice to give or something like that, but it's it's gonna seem it's gonna seem kind of like it's coming out of nowhere, or like I said, it's gonna seem very just simple and irrelevant. And you might even feel like I hope I just helped that person. I really don't feel like I did. Um or it's gonna be kind of in a sense where it's like every now and then throughout the month of April would be kind of shocking. You're like, wow, that was really great advice. I just gave someone, you know, so it's, I, I feel, I have the feeling that it's going to be, um, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be different for you, but I'm definitely seeing that you guys for sure are going to be like, um, kind of in a sense, inviting people into your life, not even realizing that you're inviting people into your life and you guys are going to be changing lives and not even realizing it or noticing it. And it's going to seem so small, but it's not. And and as you can see, it says hello from heaven. This is something that's being like guided by the spiritual realm. So this is something much bigger than what you probably realize. And um, from the for the month of April, my Sagittarius, either sun, moon and or rising, I am definitely seeing you guys um, 
being spiritually connected. I'm seeing you guys being connected to the spiritual realm. And I'm seeing you guys really finding a connection with people and kind of like slowing down for once because you guys normally don't slow down you guys are normally like go 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 but i'm seeing you guys kind of slow down taking it a little bit slower for the month of april and if you're not doing that i definitely would suggest you know just every now for the month of, every now and then for the month of april just kind of slowing down a little bit and just kind of sensing and seeing how you feel seeing what it is that you can feel and just allowing yourself to receive messages because i'm really seeing a a, a strong open line of connection and communication between yourself and the spiritual realm for the month of April. I'm seeing that very, very clearly um, because like, you know, there's a hierophant here Then we have hello from heaven blossoming and all this purple, like I said, I'm just, yeah, definitely a very strong spiritual connection for the month of April for all of my Sagittarius, sun, moon, and or rising. So that's really an awesome um, reading for you guys. I mean, don't take this time for granted because I think it's definitely going to... Um, this might be something that kind of sets you up on a different course, honestly, with the Hierophant here. He's somebody that has really dedicated himself to passing along um, divine wisdom and knowledge. So, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if you get more so into if or if you kind of open yourself up in the month of April, in the month of April, if you kind of open yourself up to um getting into spiritual teaching or spiritually guiding people or just kind of opening your mind to it or opening your eyes to it or if you're already thinking about that and you are a Sagittarius either sun moon and or rising um April is definitely the time to get started on it if you've been kind of wondering that so yeah I mean I'm seeing some very strong spiritual connections here for Sagittarius which is awesome so yeah that's all I am seeing for you guys for Sagittarius um make sure that you check out some of my other videos because I also have done um all the other zodiac signs for the upcoming month of April so make sure that you check those out for your rising and your moon sign go ahead and check those other videos out if you haven't already thank you guys so much for tuning in um i really do appreciate it and i will be back next time you guys have an amazing and blessed april bye